Hi and welcome to our channel Blue House Vintage, where we celebrate all things vintage from the collectible to the curious. You can find us on Instagram at bluehousevintage.yyc. I'll be taking you thrifting with me and then back home to explore the hall. I'll show you how I style up some of my vintage home decor finds. And we'll have time for some DIYs to show you how to create a beautiful home on a budget. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more thrifting fun. For today's video, we're gonna jump right into the thrift haul. I'm not gonna be taking you to the thrift store today. We're just gonna be unpacking our finds and styling them up. take a look at some of these items in a little bit greater detail so starting with these mugs so these are Pyrex uh, set of two uh, they're the print is called summertime impression summer Im summer impression I believe and I got the set for 250 per mug um, they were yellow tag, which was 50% off. Otherwise I would not have picked them up. Um, cause that $5 a mug, that's too expensive. So I got them for two fifty dollars each and I just love the pattern. They're just really beautiful. And now this fine, so this is, um, turns out to be a very collectible mug that I was not aware of. But some uh, nice person on Instagram, commented on my post about this mug and was like really excited about it and said oh it's a Danoon, Danoon mug and uh, they're apparently valuable and highly collectible so it was a really good find and it's super beautiful mug and I only paid $1.99 for it and these retail for $30 so great great little find and that one's going to be hard to uh, part with. <laughs> And this um, item here, so this one had me uh, head scratching for a while trying to figure out what it was when I first saw it. I was like, oh, it's a sculpture, um, a, a mid-century modern sculpture. And then I was like, oh, it's a vase, it's a vase. That's really interesting, cool vase. And uh, when I started actually doing research on it, when I brought it home, um, it turns out it's a double egg cup. So you actually use it to serve uh, your hard boiled eggs. So I thought that was really interesting and that's already up on the Etsy shop all along with all of these items are, are up there now. But um, I also picked up this vintage uh, fabric. So this is over three yards worth of fabric. It's super thick. Um, so I figure it would be really good for somebody to recover something with and I don't know I thought the pattern was really beautiful it had a really good price on it $4.99 for all of that fabric is a really really good price so I decided to pick that up the next item is um, a vest that I picked up by Ash Creek Trading so a vintage jean uh, vest so I got this at Value Village actually for uh, $6.99. And I figure in my marketplace here in Calgary, come summertime, this is gonna be a popular item because of Stampede. So lots of girls or pretty much the entire city dresses up for Stampede. 
and uh, is on the hunt for cowboy western kind of wear. So if it hasn't sold in the next few months over the winter, it certainly will come uh, this June as people get ready for Stampede. This item here is just for me to keep just a little organization um, item here. So right now I'm using it in my candle studio. So it's just holding extra labels and pens, some stamps and different stickers and items there. So I just like the wicker and I like how you can hang it actually on the wall if you want, so you can elevate it. Right now I just have it stacked on my workstation. And this item here, so word on the street is that uh, carpet bags are all the rage these days. So when I, <laughs> just hilarious. Um, so I found this uh, tapestry bag, carpet bag, grandma bag, whatever you want to call it for half off at um, Goodwill. So it was regular 15 and I got it for 750. So this bag is like an Oscar de la Renta bag. It's like in mint condition, I swear. This, whoever, whoever owned this never used it. Like it is brand new. So that's listed also on uh, my Etsy shop and we'll, uh, we'll see how it, how it does. Depending on how it does, that will determine whether or not I'm in the market in the future for any more carpet bags. And these I just picked up for myself too and to give um, a couple of them as like gifts. So just a little art idea to kind of hang these on the wall. Um, in my younger years, I traveled to Australia and I lived there for the better part of a year, um, just me and my backpack. And I traveled all over Australia. So um, these are actually little placemats um, with scenes of Australia. So this one here is the Great Barrier Reef. And I figure I'll just use a couple of them in a gallery wall. I'm planning to do a gallery wall somewhere to sh kind of showcase my travels and different countries that I've that I've been on. So that's some something that's kind of in the works for me. And um, that surfer's paradise there, that scene. And then this scene is, I think is downtown Brisbane. And I'm planning on giving, I think one of these to my aunt who she lived there for many, many years. So I'm planning on giving one of them to, to her as well that she can display in her house too. So just kind of cute memorabilia not really super valuable or anything, just kind of a neat little art idea for, for my house. And this, so you'll have to let me know <laughs> what you think of this um, vintage table renter. So this is pretty spectacular. So this is a reed runner that they're like woven together. Um, I have never seen, I got this for $5 by the way at Goodwill. Um, I've never seen one of these before as a runner. I've seen these as placemats and obviously back in the day, I'm sure you could buy them in a set where you'd get like the table runner and the, um, placemats, but I've never seen one of these before. And I thought it was just, pretty epic, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you have picked this up for $5 or would you have left it behind? Um, so we'll see if this eventually sells. And at the end of the video, I also am going to style it up and do a little tablescape for you guys on my table so you can see what it uh, looks like all styled up. And then here's kind of the crown and glory of this thrift trip. <laughs> is this mirror so I don't really know it's hard to show mirrors on camera because you get the reflection and you don't really know where to like point it but anyway that's the mirror it's um a Sirocco mirror they're made in Canada this is a resin mirror and uh very popular um and sought after mid-century modern kind of brutalist style mirror 
Um, I also picked up this art book. So this I'm not going to sell. This is going to be for just me to keep. And I think I'm going to just find frames, collect frames that I like. And once I have a few that I like that will fit, I'm just going to take some pages out and do like some type of like showcase gallery wall uh, because the art in here is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's done in the 70s. So I think they would make, and it's really like large scale, like they're big pieces of paper. So I think it would make a really cool like art feature. Um, so I'm just on the hunt for some frames that will work for it uh, for now. And then uh, once I have them collected, I'll make that little art scene and I'll show you guys how it turned out. And then I also found these prints of Audrey Hepburn. Um, so this was kind of a neat find. Obviously not, like, they're not vintage, but they're vintage, um, I guess, the she's vintage. So <laughs> if you know what I mean. So um, I feel like this would be kind of a really cool thing to kind of incorporate in my decor too like especially some of the black and white ones I really like the color ones I don't know where I would put them but I really like some of the black and white ones I mean who doesn't like Audrey Hepburn she's an icon and I think this this one here I really like that's so beautiful and the last one is uh, my favorite. So it's just her with a beautiful hat and a bird on her shoulder. So I just think it's really cute and pretty. So I'm kind of on the hunt for some frames for those as well. And if I end up finding some and putting an art wall together, I will take some videos and I'll, I'll post it um, in an upcoming video and you can check it out. So, so far, if you have made it this far and you are enjoying the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps me out in being able to bring you guys more thrifting videos. And here's the final haul. Also, drop a comment below on which was your favorite item. My favorite item by far was the Danoon Collie Dog Mug. <laughs> but let me know what you guys thought. And now let's uh, do a little DIY and style up some of our finds. So this little project here, I just took out a, a piece of art that I had previously just in an old Ikea frame. I'd, I would love to have nice vintage frames to put everything in, but I'm just using what I have on hand, which is just a plain white Ikea frame for this uh, project. And what I'm doing is just taking out a page of an art book that I found at Goodwill. So it's a Renoir art book and the pictures in it are absolutely beautiful. I found this one um, kind of neutral sketch, I believe, of a woman at harvest time. And I just took a plain old X-Acto knife, scored the center line and pulled it out. And I'm just going to frame it up. I love this art, uh, this picture, because obviously it's of a woman um, and it's back in the day, you know, clearly she's been working hard in the field. It's entitled uh, The Harvester. So I feel like it's a good reminder of, you know, how far we've come um, as women. And I just think it's uh, just a really beautiful piece. that I saw on YouTube yesterday. So it's 
The problem is the taper is too skinny for the candlestick holder. So what we're gonna try is just wrapping an elastic band around the base, kind of make the base bigger. So I'm gonna give it a go. We'll see what happens. I don't really know how many times I'm supposed to wrap it, but we'll go with that. So I've got it wrapped there. Oh, well that's too big now. Okay, so we're gonna try some good old fashioned Play-Doh. This has gotta work. So if we just put, let's see if we put maybe this much. I'm just gonna put it in the bottom. Maybe we might need a little bit more in there. We're just gonna kind of mold it to the side. I don't think you'll be able to see this when the candle's in. All right, so we're gonna give this a go. And it's perfect. It worked. Much sturdier. And up next, we're gonna do a little living room refresh. So I have had this empty wall above my couch for the longest time. And I found this, I believe it's an acrylic painting at Value Village. And um, I think it was 16 bucks. And so I picked it up and I, I really love it, like especially for winter. It's such a beautiful scene. And then I flanked it on either side with these mirrors that I found at Goodwill, um, they were half off. So regular uh, 10 bucks and then I got them for five. So really happy with the way it turned out. It is kind of still a work in progress, this living room to see like what it what I like and what feels good. But uh, for now, for winter, I really kind of like the, the winter scene with the mirrors and uh, we'll keep it going for this winter. And the total cost for this was 21 bucks. So can't argue with that. And okay, so next up I'm gonna show you guys what I did with this vintage, um, very retro table runner that I got at Goodwill. So love it or hate it, this thing is epic. So let's see it, how it looks on my table and style it up. First, I'm going to give it um, a little bit of a spot clean. Um, I have no idea how you actually clean these. Uh, it's a mystery, <laughs> but I'm going to spot clean it uh, just with a, with a cloth. And I guess, well, I guess you could soak it. You could soak it in just like a sink full of soapy water, I suppose. You could do that to clean it. But for these purposes, I'm just gonna spot clean it with a rag and get it looking half decent. And we are gonna style it up with some candles. I don't know about where you guys are, but where I am in Calgary, in Alberta, it has been an absolute ice box. Over the last almost week, we've had just polar vortex kind of weather swoop in on us. And um, it's gone down to, I think the lowest temperature was minus 55 with wind chill in the night. So it's been insanely cold. Um, I think the one day it was like minus 35 without wind chill. So basically, if you go outside in that, you could literally die <laughs> um, and get frostbite. So it's been crazy cold. So obviously I've been using a ton of candles, which is awesome because I make them. So I have a lot of them on hand. And uh, here I just decided to incorporate some of them into the tablescape for you. And I, I like how it turned out. I think it's really cool. It's it's really retro. I mean, let me know what you think. 
Um, I love it. I think it's kind of got like an old world kind of vibe to it and also a little cozy vibe. So I'm really happy with it. And I'll let you know what's sold since uh, my last video. So the green glass fruit bowl sold and that went down to the States, I believe. And the vintage watch box also sold. So this one sold locally uh, for $40. And uh, a man came and picked this up um, who you know really appreciated it. And so that was a great sale. And uh, the bunnykins sold to a grandma for her granddaughter's birthday. That's it for today's video. If you can hit the subscribe button, that would really help me out and pop a comment down below and hit that like button. See you soon.